Hi there, this is Diane from Design Creative and this is lesson six, I think, in how to build a WordPress theme using headways and fireworks. So we've done our slices, we've done our uh we've set up headway uh and now we're in the process of setting up uh the slider. We're gonna be using Royal Slider for this um particular um tutorial. As I said, you can download um, their plugin from their website. I've uploaded all the, all the sliders here, all the slices, sorry, here that I'm going to add to a slider. And unfortunately, I didn't bother to do a second slider, but um, it's fair enough. I mean, you're going to see roughly what um, I'm going to do. So, this is what the Royal Slider dashboard looks like when you're in WordPress. You can get to it. Um, <coughs> just by clicking on Royal Slider and clicking on Create New Slider. Okay, so I'm going to name this slider. Um, main menu. Even though it's not a menu, I don't know why I'm naming it anyway, it doesn't matter. And the width, I'm going to put it at 100%. And the height is... I think it's 400... And 35. Uh, gonna put the skin as white. Slideshow, even though I don't have a second slide. Put it on auto start. Align the images to the center. Uh, I don't want any arrows, or I don't want them to be able to navigate or move uh, this slider. Well, they could if they wanted to, but not. I'm going to add a block. Now, blocks are basically the part of the slider. So, um, I'm going to add, and they're HTML blocks as well, so that's great. That means you can add buttons and stuff like that. So, I'm going to add a little bit of HTML here, and all I'm going to say is uh, I'm calling for this image to go into the slider. So, I'm going to copy and paste the file URL here. And I'm going to go into block HTML text and I'm going to put this code in. And I'm going to position the, uh, the slider. And as I can see from this slider, I didn't actually cut it up right because the head's missing on this side. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna resave this. Um, don't know why that happened or how that happened, but never mind. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy all of this and uh, I'm going to open up a new document and paste it in the new document with a transparent background. Paste that in there so we've got our image. Just move that for a sec. I don't know why there's that space on the bottom but nevertheless uh, I'm going to click fit canvas and save as and I'm going to save it as a PNG. Um, I'm going to save it not in the UI folder. I'm going to save that in the assets folder. As a slide, I'm going to click Options because it's going to save as a PNG 8 and a PNG 8 has a white background to it. Um, and it's actually quite a poor qual uh, quality. Actually, it's not that it's got a white background to it, it's, got, it's that it's a poor quality. <laughs> it's not great quality at all. So, um, let me save that. The train's going past in the background. Uh, re upload. I'm going to get the URL from this. <laughs> I 
I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background, but there is this dude who lives downstairs from me, and every every night between ten and eleven o'clock at night, this guy is just rapping. I don't know who he thinks he is or <laughs> it's just bizarre, but I can hear him in the background right now, rapping his heart away anyway um. And he sounds like in his he's he's in his like in his forties or something like that. I'm just like, what are you doing? Anyway, uh, so I'm gonna upload the uh, text now, and I'm gonna put in the HTML source the HTML uh, tag for that, which would be img slash src source equals quotes, and then the the URL, and then another quote. Let me close it off and then I'm going to move that over. As you can see, once you preview it, this is what it looks like. It's not 101% great at the moment, but it's cool. Once we actually upload that, you would see how amazing it's going to look without that ghastly background. So this is another part of the text. If you can remember on the mock-up, we had like a big uh, heading. We had like a subheading underneath, and then we had a button. So I'm just adding the subheading, which I saved as an image rather than kept as text. Uh, I'm going to move that in there and you can with this uh, boil slider you can like set different animations for each block so if I want the block to come in from the left or the right or the top fast slow I can be able to do that so um, yeah that's why I'm using the boil slider because it's just so easy to use uh, very intuitive and uh, Let's have a look. I'm just getting the link because this is a button. I want this button to link to the product page. So I'm going to copy the link address and with HTML, I'm just going to call it a normal a ref um, uh, a tag, just a normal a tag. And then I'm going to wrap the a tag around the image tag and that should make the image uh, clickable. close that. I'm going to copy and paste the URL for this and I'm just going to paste it into the two quotation marks there. And there we go. So you move that into position. You can of course have tooltips on this as well. So, well not tooltips. Well yeah, they are called tooltips I guess. Um, so if you hovered over find out more it might pop up with a little box to say I don't know find out more <laughs> so you can of course add all of that because it's all HTML so you can add all of that stuff in quite easily by adding a title tag so now I've saved my menu I'm gonna get this little short code here and I'm going to stick it in the custom code block. Now I'm not 100% sure whether it's going to work. Um, let's have a look and see what happens. No, it didn't work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that. Um, actually, let me just. Check that everything is okay on that side. Yep. Okay, I'm going to change that to a content block. And obviously, the content block would be the uh, first default. The query mode would be uh, from that page. 
I don't want it to display a title and I don't want it to show featured images even though I'm not going to actually add one up there just for precaution I'm not going to add that um, I'm going to edit the page and I'm going to stick the short code in that page and it should work fingers crossed fingers crossed is it going to work let's have a look view page yeah it worked the only problem is it's just kind of to the to the right a bit so probably gonna have to go back to the slider and change the positioning of where those individual blocks are let's open the blocks up move them over a bit Let's save that and refresh. Great, brilliant. Only problem is we've got this horrible black thing in the back. It's like, what do we need that for? So I'm gonna make sure that we get rid of that because that was not in the original mock-up, and it looks whack. Actually, it doesn't look too bad, but it just wasn't in the original mock-up. So. I'm going to use the inspector tool to find out where that is. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm pretty sure the code for this is in the uh, it's in the CSS sheet, uh, the slider CSS sheet. So let's let's go there and see if we can find out where it is so we go to appearance sorry plugins and editor and we'll locate the royal slider and it should come up with a list of files and uh, not that one not that one not that one there it is royal slider css we click that and do, 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 do. if you scroll down a little bit oh there we go background behind slides you see this guy has nicely commented it out for us so I'm going to select all of this section here oops I'm forgetting the ending tag I'm going to select all of that I'm going to delete it because we don't need it I could have just commented it out but I'm going to delete it um, and now we have a transparent background so and when we click on this button as well we go to our product page brilliant so that is how we use the slider and uh, I'll see you on the second tutorial bye